So here's what I would say are the benefits of the clarity hierarchy. Number one, it helps us avoid the rocky road between action and intentions. And this is referencing a Stanford student dissertation that I've shared many times. It's a, you know about the efficacy of our language and the efficacy of our approach, being more personally responsible for how we do things and why we do things. It is also a way of asking better questions. Jackie and Penny know this from the Close the Gap. We follow a, a very specific format. Here's the resource that I'm using. Here's what I did. Here's what happened. And here's my question around how do I navigate my next most immediate constraint. The clarity hierarchy also, and this is what I think is one of the most important ones, is it helps us stop looking for technical solutions to adaptive problems. The reason that you're not succeeding at the level you want to succeed is not because you haven't found the right technical solution to your problem. The reason that we're, none of us are succeeding at the level that we would like is a, is a behavioral problem. It's an adaptive problem. It's the way we're doing what we're doing, how we're doing what we're doing, and why we're doing what we're doing. You've heard me say this many times. One of the things that I like to tell people is, you know, I help people build a better business by becoming a better person, becoming the kind of person that can get clearer about and closer to the things that they actually want to accomplish, the difference that they want to make, doing work that matters with people they care about. That's what I actually help people do. That's why I don't make silly guarantees around how much monthly income you can expect in 90 days or the conversion rate of your email sequence or your landing page or anything like that. I can't guarantee because it all depends on the quality of your effort and the quality of your intentions and motivations. But I can help you become the kind of person that can do those things better, which will result in the side effect of being more purpose-driven, having more passion for what you do, doing that work with and for people that you actually care about, and doing it in a way that keeps you in integrity and also creates a more profitable, prosperous business that only requires you to do a few of the right things every day as opposed to what most of us do, which is spend all day playing with tools and tactics that have actually nothing to do with the change that we want to make in the world. And then that's the kind of the final benefit, I think, of the clarity hierarchy is because it forces us to start at the foundational level about who we really are, what we're really good at, where we really belong, what are our values, our guiding principles, what are our boundaries and guardrails. It starts there and then moves to fundamental truths, principles, that can be applied to a strategy that will allow us to pick the tactics and the tools that will help us close the gap between where we are and where we want to be in our business. All right, that might be a record for me in terms of uh, presenting something in uh, the promised 45 minutes.